Greetings, friend. By rating, this is the most difficult classic puzzle I have seen so far in Sudoku Grand Prix. I will show you how to solve this quickly by revealing all the strategies required. The last one, the most important. Click below if you want to give it a go with that. It's solving time. So the way this grid looks is kind of thatched. It's a little hard to see because there's so spaces between here. What I want you to do is just look at it and what, what can it stand out to? What digits do you see the most of? Hopefully you see there's quite a bit of ones and sevens. We can use that to our band and start filling in. The first thing you want to do is try to fill in as many candidates as possible. And so if you go to the ones here, what you'll notice is only one place for one here in block six because of this one and this one. And then you come over in block four and solve for one right here. And now with these two ones and these two ones, you can solve for one down here in block seven. And then we can come up here into block three and solve the last remaining one. That's good for us. I also said there's quite a bit of seven. So you have these two sevens here. You can solve for a seven in that spot, which allows us with this two coming up column five and the two cut across row two to solve for two right there. So your first goal is to try to fill in as much as you can. The other thing you might notice, there are a lot of givens here in blocks four, five, and six. So we're going to see if we can take advantage of that because the information from these blocks is going to help us expand out to these blocks one, three, seven, nine, where there are not that many digits out there. Okay, so you, what you want to see next is that you have this three cutting across row four, this three coming down, and so this creates a pointing pair of threes. And so what does that mean by a pointing pair? What it means is there's only two possibilities for this three. It's in the same row, row six and block five. Uh, and it points since the three has to be somewhere here in block five. It can only be in row six. It can't be anywhere else in row six outside of the block. So that means this cell right here cannot be a three anymore. And what that means is you have these, this three and the seven pointing in here in row six. And then the three and seven up here pointing in here. There's only two possibilities left for where a three and a seven could be in block four. And that's right here. So this is a hidden pair which makes uh, four or five the only other two possibilities. And so that's a naked pair of four or five. You're going to get a lot of naked pairs. It's really the key to solving this puzzle. And you have to find this four or five. And you're like, Timberlake, what's the big deal? What does this matter? It matters because you're going to have a hard time filling out another place to solve here unless you come up and look at these two cells and when i saw this before i actually did a pretty good job uh, I, I got through this puzzle in less than 10 minutes so i want to show you that i just happened to see where was the important places to look and i knew i had to do something try to get some pairs on the board to kind of help me figure this out so if you look at these two orange squares what does that mean for us uh what can be in those squares well now we have this four four five eight in one here and you got this two three seven that's seven candidates looking in the two cells. And so what's remaining is a six and a nine. Those are the only two candidates that can be in those two cells. So that's a, another naked pair. And I cover naked pairs in my free Sudoku solving guide. If you want to get that, check the pick out below or look in the description. This is huge because what it allows us to do is now look out here and go, okay, what's left is these three candidates, four, five, and an eight. I can take out the four from here because of the four in column eight. And it puts some restrictions out there. And you're like, okay, Tim, like I didn't solve anything. Why are you saying it's so huge? And it's because this next step, you gotta find this in order. That's why this is rated so high. If you put it in Hodoku, it gives it a pretty high rating, even though there's not any advanced strategies, there's no X wings uh, that you need for this, or W wings, or anything else. You have to find these naked pairs in a certain order. This five eight now allows us to do some solving though down here, and I'm going to show you. If you look in this cell right here, and I'll just color those, what can be in this cell? We already know this one's a 5, 8. You got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 9. So the only two candidates left is now a 5 and an 8. Guess what? We have another naked pair, 5, 8. And you're like, that's not a big deal. You know, now you only fill out four, can four cells here in column eight but can we do some solving and the answer is yes because you want to look right here what could be in this cell now you have a lot of these candidates here in row four so you got a one two three four six seven so that means what could be there would be a five eight nine but we just saw the five and eight are limited to these two cells this can no longer be a five or an eight this is great 
great stuff because now you can solve this cell for a nine and you have to be able to see that because now you got this nine here you can solve for a nine right here you can actually clean up the rest of row four now this is great because what you have left is a four five or an eight well i got a five and an eight right there so that means this has to be a four which makes this a five that a four and this an eight and now you have three candidates remaining here in row six and this is kind of a neat naked triple trick i want to show you this because you can solve all three pretty quickly what you notice is that the eight covers two of the three cells in the block and then you have this five looking at one of those two cells we can solve all three because i know this one has to be the three now and because the eight's right there this has got to be your five and that's got to be your eight and so we can solve all of that isn't that nice awesome i wanted to show you that and you go if once you get this done you're going to make a lot of progress in the puzzle otherwise you're going to be pretty stuck but we're not done there's still some neat little tricks you have to do in a certain order in order to get through this puzzle after getting the five and the eight you want to come back down here and look at column six now all we need is a six and a nine well i got my nine down here in block eight so that's got to be your six i gotta get out of color mode and get rid of that all righty that's got to be your wonderful looking six will give us that nine and solve that six so we did solve the six and the nine this is going to put some more restrictions because now what you have to look at here is column two column four and column eight we've created some weight now in these outside columns that are going to affect our puzzle solve so we have two candidates remaining here in column four we can mark those pretty quick that's two three okay you're like all right what's the big deal the big deal is you want to look over here what can be in this cell okay we have a one four five eight nine we also have a six and a seven so the only two candidates left is a two three this is another naked pair and that's awesome but i want to show you something here before i show you the benefits of this naked pair if you notice this combination here you have a two three two three two three and so the two three are in the same column and they're in the same block and you have a two three right there this is part of a unique rectangle. If I look down here and go, what could be in this cell? And you notice there's a two, three, six, seven missing in the column, but I have a seven right here. And this can be a two, three, or six. I can tell you with certainty that this cell is going to be a six. We know this puzzle has a unique solution because it's in competition, it's been checked. If this one is six, then th and then if you put a two right here, then that could be a three, that could be a three, and that could be a two. But you could solve the rest of the puzzle and you'd be able to enter change the twos and the threes you can make this a three those twos and that a three right and you'd have two solutions can't have that so we know we got to solve one of these cells differently to make that happen now i'm not you know you see this in competition you can use this and move on but i want to show you the other way of solving it. if i do that if i show you how to solve our unique rectangle then i want you to hit that subscribe button so you can get more cool tips and tricks like this so let me see if i could show that to you all right if you go right here, we've got this 2, 3, 2, 3, 1, 6, 7. You look at a 4, 5, 8, 9. Well, i got a 4, 5, 8 right here. It means this is actually a naked single 9. Because now a 2 and 3 can't be anywhere else along the row. Once you put that 9 there, you look down here. What can this cell be now? Well, you need a 2, 3, and 7 in column 2. I have a 7 right here. Guess what? This is a 2, 3. And so what it creates is a nice, another nice naked pair. Since the 2, 3 had to be in one of these two spots in row 9, we can eliminate the two three from right there and solve that for a six and like i said now you need to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications you'll get cool tricks and tips like this from smart hobbies all right we'll get rid of the two and the three right now and we're going to move on with this solving these two threes actually put a lot of pressure now on these two cells because they can't be a two three anymore because they're in both of these rows in naked pairs they can't be sevens because of this and they can't be nines or ones because right here so two three six seven nine which you have left in these two cells is a four five and eight this is the next neat trick and it actually you have to use it in conjunction with another naked triple because what we have right here is a naked triple of a four five and eight right four five and eight are limited to those three cells in column one this is awesome stuff because what it means then is that we can do a little bit more solving here well you got these two sixes you got these two sixes so we do want to see that this cell 
it would be a 6. But what's left is 379. All right, so we have a 379 right there, and this is kind of cool. I want to show this to you because it, this one naked triple leads to another. You have a 379, 379 here. You remember, there's a 237 that can be in column two, but you have a two right there. So this has to be a 37. And so what do we end up with is another naked triple. This one will allow you to do some solving. Nice, because we have a 126 in block one. We have a 379 limited to the three blue cells. So you're missing a four, five, and an eight. Well, I got my four and a five right there. So this has to be your eight. And the five can only go here, which leaves the four to go right there. And now you can solve this cell for an eight and you can get rid of the fours down there. Isn't that just awesome? I love how you play in this puzzle. This is great stuff. You gotta find this in this order, the way these pairs mount up to these triples, because this is the only way you're gonna be able to solve this nice puzzle. And so where can we go from here? Since we just solved this for an eight, we need a six and eight right there. This has gotta be your eight and that's gotta be your six. And then we can put some more pressure over here uh, to continue our solving. All right, what you might notice uh, across the top here is looks like we need, uh, we have this two sixes here, and we got these two sixes, means this has to be a six. We can go and work our way across row one. Now, where can a four be, right? Because the four is here, it can't be there, can't be any of those two cells, this has to be your four. And then since this nine is right there, and it can't be here, this has to be your nine. So now we're creating some solves across the top, and this is going to, be great for us and we want to work our way down now to finish and get some more solving here so where we want to go next is actually down here in row eight you know we had this one we had the two three six seven nine so we're looking at four five and eight where can the uh, eight go now in row eight since we add this eight here can't be there we add the eight here can't be here this has to be your eight which makes this your five nice and so now what we have left is a four and we have a five but i got my five right there so here's your four and here's your five all right and so now we can solve since we have these two fives this has to be your five that has to be your four so we're getting the last important strategy that i told you i said there's one more thing it's really important and i'm about to show it to you first you know you want to see is that this five means you know, this two five here your five's got to be here and your two's got to be there okay and so we're looking now in this region, what we got? We got a one, two, five, six, seven, eight. We need a three, a four, and a nine. Well, we got these two fours, got this four. This has to be a four. And so you need a three and a nine. And it doesn't look like you can solve that, but we can because of that last amazing trick. This two, three is not only a naked pair, naked pairs and hidden pairs, they act as pointing pairs. The three has to be in one of these spots. This cell cannot be a three. So it has to be your nine. That's that last great trip I want the trick that I wanted to show you. So now that's a nine, that's a three. And now we're gonna be able to solve a lot of these pairs that we put down because you got the seven, the three, and the seven like that. Awesome. And now we can go across the top. We have a full house. So that means we can solve this cell now for a seven. And with this three means this has to be your two, which means this is your three. That's your two, that's your three, that's your two. All right, we got two more full houses here in columns two and three. What are we missing? It looks like a three and a seven. I see my seven right here. So this has to be your seven, and that has to be your three. And then we go here. Let's make sure we get this full house. That has to be a nine, because that's the only thing I see left in the block. And you want to come down here, and you're missing just a two and an eight. So there's a two. So I know that's got to be your two, and that's got to be an eight to finish that difficult Sudoku puzzle. I didn't get to talk about hidden pairs very much in this puzzle, but they appear often. Check out this video to learn more about spotting and solving them in championship puzzles. Thank you so much for watching.